Hello, in this problem we're going to integrate cosine of theta with respect to theta, and we're going from pi to 2 pi. So the first thing we have to do in this problem is integrate cosine. So to do that, we want to think backwards. What is a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine, so when you integrate cosine, you just get sine. So we write sine theta. Now, this is a definite integral, so we don't need the plus c. But we do need to write these numbers here. These are called the limits of integration. So you can write a line or a bracket, or if you prefer, you can even use two brackets. It's up to you. And the pi goes here, and the two pi goes here. And then the formula says that you plug in the top number first. So this is equal to the sine of two pi. Then you subtract, and then it's the sine of pi. Really nice. And sine of 2 pi, well, let's think about what that is. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine theta, comma sine theta. So here's 0, here's pi, and here's 2 pi. So the y-coordinate at 2 pi is going to be um, sine. So this point here, this is the unit circle, is 1, 0. So the y-coordinate is 0, so that's 0, minus. And the sine of pi... This ordered pair here is negative 1, 0, and again, the y-coordinate here is sine, so it's going to be 0. So this is equal to 0. So that would be the answer to this problem here. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.